So please tell me about your personal stake in this movie. What got you involved? Oh my goodness. Okay, so there was a short and I was in the short. And so I've been able to inhabit this character more than once, which is a total, utter privilege. Um, and I, uh, yeah, so I play Linda. I am, uh, oh, not me. Um, so I play Linda, and I am the character basically who loses out the most in this story, in this immigration love story. I kind of end up with a with a with a crap hand um, because I have fallen in love with somebody, somebody who was married before he met me. His family arrives, and I am left without anything because he is honoring his commitment that he made to his family um, over a subsequent commitment to me. So, it's a little heartbreaking, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. How did doing this role once before in the short form help influence the evolution of the character and the story for you? Well, I think it was so helpful. It was like a, a, a warm-up. The short was like a warm-up because I got to investigate the stakes. I got to investigate the character and the relationship. Um, you know, with Walter, the main character, that was the uh, that was what was really special, was that I got to make that very alive for myself, and then I got to go and, uh, yeah, I made it very alive for myself, I made it very alive with my scene partner, and then we got to flesh that out in the, in the feature format, even though the feature technically shifts focus and is more about the family, all of that work that I had done in the short was very alive and rich for me, so that was a treat, yeah. And what do you hope this film adds to the conversation about American immigrant stories? Ooh, um, good question. I think uh, this is a story about Africans that does not involve rape or famine or war. Um, I think it's about love and it's about passion and about dance and uh, that feels really special to me. That feels very three-dimensionalizing, contextualizing, making immigrants uh, you know, three-dimensional beings as opposed to a two-dimensional being that can be vilified or, or uh, you know, maligned in politics or otherwise. And so I think it's really important that we have more of those stories. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> um, Me too. <laughs> do you have uh, any advice for emerging or aspiring artists and storytellers? Oh, boy. Uh, if you can do anything else, you should do it. <laughs> It's a, no, no, it's a hard road. It's a game of attrition, so hang in there, you know? Um, if you have tenacity and talent and a really, really, really good work ethic, you can do anything. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.